Very good. Good dream bot. Good. Wow, impressed. I'm impressed. Very smart. What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is the DreamBot Z10 Pro. This is a vacuum and a mop with 3D mapping. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. This is one of the most advanced robot vacuum slash mops. So right here we got the mop reservoir. Setup guide, a brush, vacuum bag. Oh, this is pretty looking. And squeeze this, pull this out, and you can maintain the brush. It does sense if objects are in the way, it will go around those objects. But just in case, it does have a bumper sensor. So if it bumps into something accidentally, it'll turn around. Here's the dust bin right here and a cleaning tool. And this side, there's a little razor so you can cut through pet hair. If you want to set up your dream bot, just scan this code. The power cord. And here is the dock. Oh cool, and it comes with an extra vacuum bag. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set it up. I'm gonna try out the vacuum feature first, then we're gonna go ahead and try out the mop feature. If you wanna remove the dustbin, you just squeeze right here and pull it out. If you wanna remove any clogs, you just remove this panel, and then you can remove any hairballs stuck in here. If you wanna prevent clogs, I highly suggest running the robotic vacuum once a day. Now when setting up the dock, you want to make sure the dock is in the open area so the robotic vacuum can find its way to the dock and have space to dock. Here's the vacuum bag. Make sure that it is opened right here. And then it slides into this slot all the way down. There is a filter in there. You want to make sure you clean out that filter once a week. There's filters also in the robotic vacuum that have to be cleaned out once a week. All right, go ahead and press the power button for three seconds. That's the middle button. One two, three. And you want to be sure that Wi-Fi light is on. If you have issues setting up this robotic vacuum to your Wi-Fi, here's the reset button. You can press and hold that to reset the unit. Now I highly suggest setting this up to a 2.4 gigahertz wireless signal. Now you want to make sure you download this app, Me Home. You can sign in using Facebook if you choose to. Okay, I am signed in. Now let's go ahead and add a device. All right, type in DreamBot. Uh, we have the pro version. One, two, three. Waiting for the network configuration. So it needs to verify the location. Hit next. Permissions, location. All right, once you put in the password for your wireless router, go ahead and hit connect. Robot and phone connected. Please return to Xiaomi Home app to wait for the result. Network connected successfully. This was probably one of the easiest robotic vacuums I have set up in a long time. That was really fast, actually, and it only took one try. All right, set it up in the living room. All right, let's go ahead and start our experience. Let's start. The robot is recommended to start from charging dock. So let's go ahead and close this up and hit the home button. Returning to the dock to charge. It is one of the most quiet vacuums I've ever owned. Start charging. All right, it's charging now and it already mapped out some of my house. So let's go ahead and start the update and it says place the robot at the charging dock before updating. Make sure the battery level is more than 
So you can't update unless it's charging with over 15% battery life. Updating. Now, for any reason the update fails or gets corrupted or gets interrupted, you're gonna have to factory restore the robotic vacuum and start all over. Updated successfully. Here it tells you the cleaning area, the cleaning time, and the battery percentage. You could create a no-go zone and set up cleaning modes. Let's set up turbo. And you can also adjust the water flow settings too in the mop feature. You can set up a 3D high precision obstacle avoidance. Turn that on and we'll go around such things like cables and socks. We're gonna test that feature. Automatic dust collecting. We're gonna do it once per task. You can schedule a cleanup. You can do it every single day and save that. Here's my app remote control features. Start remote control cleaning. And locate my robot. I am here. If you want to create a no go zone, you do so. You set up a no-go zone for your vacuum or mop. Let's go ahead and block off this area right here. And hit OK to save it. And you see that red line? And we blocked off that one area. All right, go ahead and hit start. Start cleaning. Now let's go ahead and set it up with a Alexa, click on more, click on skills, and click on DreamBot. There it is right here, Dream, and able to use. Goes under couches, no problem. I love how it traces out its path so you know where it went. There's got to be side sensors on this thing because it didn't really go head first and it knows that that object is there. It is turning around. This is very, very, like one of the best features I say that DreamBot has is that 3D high precision avoidance feature and the self emptying feature. Very good. Good dream bot. Good. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Very smart. This is probably the smartest robotic vacuum I own. And that's because it would actually go around random objects on the floor. Avoiding the sandals and the sock. Let's go ahead and kick it up a notch. Wow. 
Wow. Cleaned up everything. That goes a nice way, I believe. You start it by hitting play, or I believe you hit this button. Proceed with cleaning task. All right, let's go ahead and test out the mop. We're gonna hit the dock button. Returning to the dock to charge. And you can set up for turbo on your schedule, which is really nice too, as well. Hit the check mark to save it. Now it says to dampen the pad. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take this off for a second. So let's dampen the pad. And it says to wring it out. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and fill it up. All right, let's go ahead and close that up. And slide this in. Water tank has been installed. Pretty good. Now the DreamBot Z10 Pro is a self-emptying robot, but it's not self-cleaning mop. Now I do like turbo mode, which increases the suction power up to 4,000 PA suction power, which is one of the strongest suction powers for a robotic vacuum. So as a robotic vacuum, I give it a score of a 10. This is like one of the best robotic vacuums with the strongest suction power that I own or I ever tested. But for as a robotic mop, I give it a score of a maybe six, just because the water reservoir is really not that big and you do have to fill it up every maybe like 20, 30 minutes or so. And the mop pad is fairly thin. So once it absorbs that juice, you're going to have to immediately ring it out. If you guys are interested in the DreamBot Z10 Pro, check out the link in the video description below. If you know anyone that might be interested in this unit, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Later guys.